this is our final design for our intake mechanism. So in our design, we are going for a hybrid between an active intake and a claw. So if you look here, our, the claw part, it's, everything is mounted on a single C-channel here. And we have another, another C-channel that protrudes outward that is rotated by a single servo that is used to close and help grip um, one of our specimens or samples. So for additional grip, we are actually including a 3D printed insert that fits into the sample groove. So if you look at the sample right here, we're gonna include a little insert that fits, um, that's like triangle shape that actually fits into this groove. This is our, um, it's gonna be part of our intake to grab the specimen and um, samples. And so what it is, is pretty much, it's a triangular insert, which will fit perfectly into the triangle of the samples. And um, so, and then we'll make it out of a TPU or some rubbery filament that we'll have the 3D print with. And um, pretty much on the back right here, we have a hole pattern, which will line up perfectly with the rev 15 millimeter extrusions, and we'll put M3 screws into the holes, and then it'll screw on. And when it's, ready, when it's there, all we have to do is have it clasp on like this, and then we could move the sample wherever we want grip the specimen because when we have to hang the specimen using our intake mechanism, we have to thoroughly grip it and pull it down and then release it. So in order to make sure we have enough torque and enough grip on this, we are using that insert to help hold onto this securely. <music> using our flapper wheel powered by a continuous servo for our active intake. So what we do is we're able to intake the samples from the side like here. So the intake intake wheels, they move the, they intake from the side here and push it inwards. And then it keeps getting pushed until it hits this C-channel here. And we're able to open and close this C-channel so that we can have better, we can hold the, um, spe like if we have a specimen and we want to hang it, we can um, close the C-channel to actually have a better grip of the specimen because when we're hanging it, we have to be able to pull the specimen down to actually secure it on one of the chambers. And we'll have mounting to any some kind of extrusion using just one of these 90 degree mounting brackets. So this is our prototype for our intake designs. You're right, we have our claw design with an extrusion that turns inward and outward using the servo. And on the other side, we have um, a wheel, our intake wheel, as well as some zip ties, which we're using as a placeholder for flapper wheels. So we're able to intake our sample so that it is kind of um, vertical. And then it's able to, and then using the combination of the claw and the flapper, it's actually able to kind of hold up on its own. Another interesting, another good part of it is even though we intake our samples in like kind of a vertical orientation, if our sample is kind of facing outwards, the combination of our claw and flapper wheels allows it to funnel those um, samples into the right orientation. This is the motor that we are going to use for the arm. It's an HD hex motor by Rev, and it has a 4 to 1 ratio, a 5 to 1 ratio, and another 5 to 1 ratio. So we use JVN calculator to find the ratio that's perfect for the arm attachment. So we plugged in the load, which we approximated to be around uh, 3 to 5 pounds, and the length of the arm, which will be around 16 inches. So um, we found this as the ratio that'll work.